Now before I begin, let me just quickly say that this is an advanced video tutorial. There are some terms of technology that I'm going to use in this video tutorial that may not be familiar to everybody or those that are just setting out and beginning with um, WordPress or MySQL databases etc. The basic process of what we're going to do is take a database from an existing directory script such as eSyndicate, eDirectory etc. and we're going to take a copy of that database install it into the same database as WordPress and then we're going to use the import tool within the DirectPress theme to import all of the data from that database into our WordPress directory. So although it sounds complicated you may just want to watch this video tutorial a few times just to grasp the kind of concept here. So let me just begin um, by explaining some of the things that we're going to need before we begin. Um, so what you're going to need obviously is your WordPress installed, you're going to need access to a um, PHP MyAdmin which is, comes with almost all of the hosting providers these days um, and also you're going to need access to your old database which is the one that you've got for your existing directory theme. So I've got for example uh, an SQL dump here for a directory, an SQL dump for Linkbid, an SQL dump for PHP Linkbid and you'll need whatever um, um, SQL data that's available for your um, directory script. Now the import tool we have in DirectoryPress allows you to import from um, a few different choices and at the time of this video we have eSyndicate, PHP LD, PHP LinkBid, um, LinkBig script and the eDirectory um, and obviously as time progresses there may be additional um, import tools but for now that's what we have and if you want to double check which one which obviously you can just click on the found here link here to, to kind of view the website itself. So say for example you've, um, you've, you've purchased a eDirectory script um, in the past and you've obviously now decided that you wish to um, move over to directory press. Um, to import the directory um, and all of your existing listings in your eDirectory script um, you would take the SQL database dump from eDirectory so for example you would log into your PHP MyAdmin, you would select the database that you've currently installed your eDirectory on and then you would do um, an export and then um, you would export the data so if I just find um, an an existing website for example test here if I just do export and then I would use this options here to export using the SQL options so I would do export select SQL and then I will zip it or um, and then just click on go and it will create um, an SQL dump um, for that existing database so just again for those um, that are unsure select the database click on export um, by default all of the tables will be selected so you just scroll down click on SQL and then you can zip it or unzip it um, just by clicking these options here none or zipped and then I would just click on go and basically that will then um, give me a download very similar to what I've got here if it was a zipped file it would have been a zip file if it wasn't it would just look similar to like this and, and you can rename it if you want which I've done here just for the demonstration purposes but what that basically is saying is you've just downloaded a copy of your existing uh, MySQL database um, for your existing um, directory script and then we're going to now take that database dump import it into WordPress and then using the DirectPress tools import the data out of that um, database dump into your directory theme so although it sounds complicated it really isn't that complicated so what we're going to do then is go over to our WordPress site here now I'm going to go ahead and do this from, from default so we can see um, how it all works so I'm going to go back to my database again and just select the database I have for um, my premium press demo, demo website and that's where you can see there's nothing here and as you can see the website here it needs to be set up so I'm just going to go ahead and set up WordPress now Okay, so that's WordPress installed, and if I go ahead and double refresh my database tables here, as you can see now, all of the tables are here. There we go, so we can see now the list has been refreshed. And those are the default tables that we have installed with WordPress, as you can see there's a, a WP underscore, which is a table prefix for default of WordPress. Okay, so now we're going to log into our WordPress admin area. And basically we're going to activate um, the actual director press theme. So we would click on appearances, themes, and obviously you should have uploaded director press already and we would then go ahead and click on the director press theme. 
So once you've activated um, your Director Press, which is kind of the basic steps for installing um, the Director Press theme or any of the Premium Press themes, on the left hand side there you'll notice a lot of new admin area tools. Now if all we're doing here is clicking on the um, this tools option here. And if we scroll down the page slightly, you'll be able to see here some of the new options we've got within the Director Press theme, obviously the database import tool. So this is the kind of stage we're at now where we're going to start importing the database. But obviously if we go back to our existing database where WordPress installed, well there isn't any database tables for the, um, for the directory scripts that we've currently got. So now what we need to do is import those downloaded ones we did at the beginning, which are these ones here, into the existing table, uh, the existing database table for the WordPress installation. So to do this, I'm back in my PHP my admin again. And I'm going to click on import this time rather than export. And then I'm going to click on choose file. And now I'm just going to select the file that I, um, that I want to import from. So I'm going to use um, eDirectory for example. So I click on eDirectory and just click on go. And there we go, we can see that the, uh, the database there has been imported um, successfully and obviously the 392 queries there um, are the actual database tables and the data being imported into those tables. Now obviously the database setup for your eDirectory database for example um, may be slightly different. Um, obviously I can't guarantee that the import process will work for every database because they may have been customised. Um, what I've tried to do is create a script that will um, import default data out of the default database tables and data database structure um, for each of the uh, directory scripts. So if we can go back to our left hand side of our uh, MySQL admin view again we can see now there are a lot more tables um, and these are the actual database tables for the e-directory uh, which is the one we've just um, imported. So now that that database has been successfully added um, to, the same to the same database as um, the WordPress installation we can go back into the admin area um, of our um, directory theme and we can now click on the e-directory um, um, option there because that's the database that we want to import into our directory press theme. Now there is an option here called table prefix and if I just quickly go back to the database again we'll notice that there are no table prefix for the um, imported e-directory database here and now there obviously may be depending upon your installation so double check now a table prefix for example um, if we look at this WordPress one it says WP underscore and, and that's what we call a table prefix so it's just a prefix at the beginning of the uh, the actual table names um, so we've got WP underscore links WP underscore comments etc and if we just look up um, some of the um, ones we've just imported there is no underscore settings it's just settings so the, t the table prefix option here just refers to that um, the, t the prefix for the database tables there and in this case obviously the there isn't any table prefix so we'll just leave this blank and then we'll just click on database import and we'll just click that and now what it will do is it will run the SQL query for importing the eDirectory database um, and then it will try to import all of the data from that database into your directory press team. And obviously it might take a good few minutes um, and obviously de um, depending on your, the, fact, the speed of your hosting account, um, you know, it, you need to be a bit patient. Here we go, that was quick. Uh, it says the system has successfully imported 755 um, those are um, directory listings from your e-directory database. Um, and if we go back to the, um, on the left hand side here and we'll just click on the listings option, we can now see um, some of the listings that have been imported um, within that database that we've, we've just imported from. And we've got the title, the category, and obviously if we just click on edit, um, we've got some of the descriptions, etc., and the links, etc. So that's the, the database import process for the e-directory. And it's the same concept for each and every one of the um, systems that we've got available in the uh, directory import tool here. So let me just give you that um, process again so that you can follow it through once again. I'm going back to my MySQL admin here. Um, and this time I'm just going to click on um, import because I want to import my um, downloaded database um, into my Premium Press theme. I'll click on choose. This time I'll select, for example, the PHP um, link bid option. So that's my PHP link bid. And then I'll click on go, which is going to import that data into the same database as my um, WordPress installation. Okay, there we go. This one's a bit faster. This one's a smaller database um, and it's only got 26 queries installed. So if I scroll down a little bit just to kind of check to see where it is. 
Okay, here we go. See, the, the PHP link beer database prefix is TBL underscore. So we can just quickly see here that obviously those tables have been installed. So I'm going to go back then to my directory press installation. And this time I'm going to click on PHP link bid. And the table prefix, as I've just mentioned a minute ago, is TBL underscore. So I will be typing in here TBL underscore. And then I just click on import the database. And then obviously wait a few moments for the import to start. And there we go. The system has successfully um, imported 67 from the uh, LinkBid database. And if I go back to my listings, just confirm that there. And here we go. We have some new um, listing directory options within our directory press database. So that's the basic concept of importing um, other directory script databases into your directory press team. And I do hope that this video tutorial wasn't too complicated. Thank you.